Well, I think it's an understandable question, but I think it's impossible to disaggregate the two. The idea that you're going to be able to build security without the prospect of peace is an illusion. The Palestinians, as an example, Palestinian police see themselves as being an instrument for building a Palestinian state. If they think there's no prospect of building a Palestinian state, then there's, in their eyes they become Israel's policemen of the Palestinians, and that's not something that's sustainable. Uh, on the Israeli side, security is a prerequisite for peace, and so you need, to, you need to focus on security, but it's not to the exclusion of peace. It's understandable, it would be great if you could do security for security, but that's nice in a laboratory. It just doesn't exist in the real world. So the real question is, how do you create an interrelationship between the two? You know, I'm, I'm doing a book now, and um, King Hussein, uh, at one point in 1977, said peace is a state of mind. Well, it is, but also there's real forces who challenge you. So if you, you don't put yourself in a position where you have security arrangements that can deal with those who would challenge that peace of mind, that peace of mind isn't going to be sustainable. Uh, oftentimes we've had different American administrations who say peace is the best guarantee of security. That was very much the mindset of the Carter administration, even though they did some other things as well. But from an Israeli standpoint, you know, security is the best guarantee of security. Uh, and they didn't look at a landscape where they were being accepted, and therefore it wasn't so easy for them to say, we can put our faith in the fact that you know, now our neighbors are committed to peace. We don't see much sign of that. So how you strike that balance is key. You know, there have to be security arrangements that create a sense of insurance, and that can give you peace of mind, but there also has to be a recognition that you're not going to achieve real security if there isn't peace. So how do you integrate these two, I think, is the key to a policy that offers you, over time, the kind of hope and sense of possibility that uh, we still would like to see.